Pops. It's a super speedway in Martinsville, Virginia. DW, I know it's Monday, but we still do the same thing. The first short track race of the year. Reach up there and pull those belts tight one more time. Welcome everybody to race six here in the NASCAR Sprint Cup Series. I've heard a lot of wrecking in my headphones. I don't know what happened to Joey Logano in that first lap. He just vanished. But this is nice not having a caution on the first lap. We had to restart like so many times, like we always do when we're going to Martinsville. It's just kind of been worked into my planning when I come to these certain tracks be ready for cautions early on and then hopefully it clears out <laughs> so um, yeah we got to the first few laps here all green and all that crash sounds I heard maybe they've sorted themselves out to where we're spread out a little bit now so we won't see a caution for a while shut up William anyway uh, yeah so we started 15th we're overdriving turns three and four but we are able to hold on to it and keep it in front of Martin, so we'll take that spot. Thank you very much, Mark. We come in here as the point leader. We've had, I, I mean, our qualifying's been sub a little bit so-so the past couple races anyway. Before that, we were averaging like a top five. Um, coming into this race, we're like seventh, but we've also have an average finish of seventh, so I mean... We're having a pretty good start to the season. We've led laps in every race. Um, yeah, it's just been good. Four top tens, two top fives, a win. Drove in a little bit harder that that turn, that time by. Yeah, Vickers is going to stay there. We're going to let him take that, and then I'm going to try to cross him over here. Uh, I had to let off to try to make it work. Can I dive under him? Uh, I got under there enough. Outside. Drag race. Uh, he beat me to the line. Locked up a little bit. We're okay. Alright, so now that we're done playing around with Brian Vickers, let's see if we can get back up to Jeff Gordon. And I think that's Jamie McMurray. I, I saw the stand-ins. Yeah, McMurray and uh, Gordon. Again, I believe this is going to come down to a race of just get into traffic. I don't expect us to have blister and pace all afternoon in this race because I make mistakes like that. But as long as there's lap cars, I think we still have a shot at getting a good finish. I mean, wow, did Brian just bump me to the bottom? Whatever. So, uh, yeah. At least we didn't spin. But I don't know if Brian wants to uh, stir up that rivalry again. Well, I'm pretty sure it ends this season because I don't think he continues on from for health purposes. He's out. Just trying to keep an eye on the lap cars in front of me and Vickers behind me. Um, some exciting news, actually. Um, not like it would be... A, I'm not going to list this as a breaking news story. But, um... So, I saw something on Reddit about borderless gaming. So, I could run the game in a full screen, but still tab in and out of it without losing it. So, that means there's the possibility that the Dirt series could have overtime it could have double file restarts not that we get many cautions but i'm just saying if we did um and then we could probably bring it to the cup series too it's just no 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 
I heard crashing. No caution. Oh, the NR, the NR flagmen are tired of seeing the yellow just as much as me. No caution again. Watch this whole thing go green, and everyone just thinks I turned cautions off. I wouldn't lie, it's I've been tempted at Martinsville before to do that. But um, yeah. So certain tracks we probably won't do it. Like, well, case in point, Martinsville. If we did double file restarts, we would never see the end of the yellow flag. I feel like the places like, oh, a prime example would be like Daytona, Talladega, Atlanta, Texas, all those places. Um, yeah, we could definitely do double file restarts, and um, I mean, overtime can always be a given. But so just something that I'm fairly excited about doing. In the uh, as a possibility, it's I'm not guaranteed I can do it yet. I haven't tried it, but I'm excited for the possibility. Eric Almarola took a very wide exit off the of turn two. Maybe he was just saying, "Hey, I see you coming. Take it." And we did. Who's the 26 again? Yeah, it's David Stremmy again this week. If this does stay green the whole time, though, I find it hard to believe we're going to be able to keep our laps led at a track, uh, or laps, a lap led each race streak alive. Because we are still losing time to the guys who are leading this race. Oh, that might be the noise you've been hearing. People bouncing off the wall. Yeah, that would bring a caution out. Yeah, we're 8.9 seconds back. Trying to catch up to those two a little bit before we hit the next batch of traffic just to see if I can hang with them. I think McMurray's slowing up the 24, though. Interesting. Like, I feel like I'm gaining, but I feel like I'm not. It's just different parts of the track. I'm faster than them by uh, by a good chunk. I think entry. I'm pretty good on, but they're beating me on exit, which is where we need more speed, so we can actually make passes. I'm going to take advantage of that with Marcus Ambrose. Still there. Clear all around, all clear. Gordon going under McMurray. Uh, I, I can get behind that idea. Because then we can go try to pass Jamie. If we can keep him pinned there. Ooh, Jeff left the door open for us there. And then we can get under Gil Lind. Still there. And clean sweep. Two spots, one lap. Yes, please. Now we just got to find our way around Quapple. Jeff got real close. Wow, I had to lock up. I got loose. Clear. I like it. Actually, speaking of Travis Quapple, he's seventh in points. And if you thought that was crazy, Bobby Labonte's ninth in the points. He didn't gain or lose any positions from Bristol to here. That's insane. Like... I don't know how those two are doing it. I mean, Quapple, he finished top five. I think it, I'm pretty sure it was top five at Bristol. But Bobby Labonte, man. 
That dude. Wow, we almost got Hornish. Excuse me, Paul. You are for position, actually, according to the F1 bar on the top of my screen. Thank you. Now, this makes me nervous. Having a fast car like Gordon behind me, being too wide, I feel like he's going to hit me. So I really need Regan to do some work here. There you go, Regan. He's going to clear Joe. Oh, there are three wide in my mirror. Junior just hit the wall. But he must have kept going. Because no caution. Again, that's awesome. No caution. Excuse me, Brad. I have no idea how I got such a... Like, I don't know. Good run into that turn without losing it. I'm just mirror driving so much right now trying to make sure the 24 doesn't get near me no fuel will be needed for this race so obviously no one's going to be required to pit for that purpose however should a caution come out at some point my curiosity is will anybody actually pit to get some fresh tires. I'm trying to remember back to the fall race we had here last season. I'm trying to remember if we tried anything off get off of uh, sequence with anybody to try to gain an edge. I just don't think we did for some reason, or if we did, I don't think it did gain, gain us any advantage because I feel like I would have remembered. Kyle Bush is for seventh. That 24 is just looming behind me still. He is just following me through the traffic. Try and just be really easy right now. Don't want to hit anybody or anything. Trying not to burn up the tires. I'm not really even giving it much acceleration through the, the corner because I know I'm getting into the turns real hot. So I'm just trying to minimize the tire wear as much as possible. Bobby Labonte's holding me up a little bit there. He actually makes some contact with Max Pappas, it looks like. I thought I saw debris. So we're going to be able to swing around him, and I'm pretty sure I'll be able to get Max here in turn one. Next up, we got Mike Bliss. We'll be putting him a lap. That 24 is so fast. I just can't get away from him. This big open stretch of track ahead of Bliss is actually a little bit concerning because I feel like we're going to start to get challenged by the 24. Either that or we're going to actually see what we got compared to the 24. If he's slower than us and we were just being held up by some of the traffic. Eh, might even just be even paced. That would be unusual. I'll take it. <laughs> He's really making me watch that mirror, though. 12.4 seconds to Matt Kenseth. Damn it. Wait, that's not Gordon behind me. It's still Kyle Busch. I thought I saw the orange flames in the front of Kyle's car and the Snickers car threw me off so much. I thought it was Jeff. A little contact with Kyle. Clear. 
I can't believe how far back we are to Kenseth. Like, he's going to lap the field, I feel like. <laughs> well, Biffle's hanging right there with him. Outside. We got to get through lap traffic fast. If we're going to have any hope of staying on Still the lead there. lap. Still there. Uh. Be three wide. Outside. I don't really have time to be sitting clear. behind Yellow's two. Out. Yellow's out. You're clear. Was that my three fault? Jeff, Jeff, inside. Jeff, Still Jeff. Three wide now in the middle. We're okay. Did we lose? Yeah, we lost the spot to Kyle. Lost two spots. Damn it. We were up to seventh. Caution number one. And I, I'm really surprised that this was a caution. Max Pappas coming off a of turn two. He hits the wall. Well, I didn't see the full thing through. I just saw a little bit, but he's in the wall there. Like I feel like we've we saw this earlier in the race, like when especially when I like Clip Jr. Uh well he's gonna stop. Never mind. That's why. So yeah, that's what brings out the caution. But he's gonna get going right away and there's no one really close to him. So like we'll just put it in full speed now. Yeah, nothing else, really. Unusual caution, I guess, I suppose we could put that under. So Matt had so many cars down a lap, I stayed out, let a lap, and then pit for tires. So um, we're getting ready to go green. And who is our leader? Green flag. Green flag's back out. Oh, oh, sorry, Jimmy. Biffle's the leader. Still there. How? Still there. I didn't even look to see the stand-ins. There's a bunch of cars tail end. I didn't. Mm -hmm. Well, Still they there. all pit, but they all pit, so it wouldn't count as a wave around, I guess, right? Yeah, because you can't pit to get the Still wave there. around, so I guess we're okay. Still there. Clear, clear, inside, clear all around, all clear. Outside. Low. That was close. Clear. That was close to the wall, too. But I think I heard someone hit the wall. Ambrose is coming back up into traffic. Oh, no. Jimmy, you can't do that. Ambrose is there. And now I'm there. So you can just sit there and hold it tight. As long as Marcos doesn't pull down here, that'll be good because we last thing we need at a Martinsville race is a pit cycle driver. Outside. Clear. Three wide now in the middle. Outside. Clear. Clear. I drove in too deep trying to avoid getting run over by Jimmy. Sorry, Marcos. Damn, I cooked that left front. Trying to stay ahead of Jimmy there. Look at the skid mark I left. Thankfully, I think we redirected him, so no caution. No damage either. How we have no damage yet? Shut up, William. Yeah. I'm also wondering, maybe we should have just stayed out. Had the track position. And maybe we could have fend them off a little bit, but... I didn't like the idea of how fast we were losing time on worn tires and then to try to stay on the lead lap with or try to stay up there with worn out tires compared to their new I didn't think we'd have a shot tried to show Regan that I wanted to go low but he didn't want to let me go Stay low. Muscled up Regan Smith a little bit there. Clear all around, all clear. Thankfully, no one was nearby. One, 
All right, so we're in seventh. Wow, we're in seventh. Basically, right back to where we were before that caution came out, and we lost those two spots to Gordon and Kyle. Biffle is the leader still, followed by Harvick and Kenseth. Um, I'm trying to see, let me see. Are we gaining any time on Kurt Busch? No, we lost three tenths. And he's side by side with somebody. Oh, that's Jeff Burton, I think. Yeah. Alright, so those two cars up ahead are for position. We gained a tenth, but that's only because we gained it on Burton, because I'm pretty certain it's because he was being passed by Kurt Busch. But I can live with a top ten if that's all we're going to get in this race today. I mean, it's been a really good season. The only outlier has been California and we got loose there and we didn't even finish as bad as I thought we were gonna finish because we just I don't know I thought we could do better obviously during the race or whatever but like in hindsight it could have been a lot worse and we did a pretty good job I think Starting to gain some time on these cats up here, no pun intended on the cat car. That's a caution. Caution number two, Clint Boyer. Nemechek goes way wide. He's going to catch the wall. Oh, no, Clint Boyer's not even involved at all. Johnson makes contact with Joe Nemechek there on the front stretch. Hits the wall. McDowell's going to get into Joe. And I'm doing those replays like a day after. I had to run out uh, yesterday to go. I was going to see Chris, and we were going to go watch the Sean O'Malley fight. So he won. Woohoo! But, um... Yeah, so I'm trying to remember everything that's going on. But yeah, that was all that one was. Not really anything too bad. I don't typically get overly nervous. Like, I'll get nervous about some restarts. But not, like, over-the-top nervous. This one has me nervous. We got Biffle, who was involved in the accident, I guess. Because now we're past him. He was the leader. Um, behind me. I spun the tires. So I'm worried Biffle's going to try something stupid. And because no one pit, like, I don't know who was faster than who, so I feel like they're all going to be dicing around, making moves. Pretty certain Montoya and Menard are for position. Clear all around, all clear. Well, Menard was. Still out there. Joe Nemechek held me up, though. Still out there. Clear all around. All clear. Outside. Still out there. Hey, Juan. Oh! That's not what I meant when I started to say, hey, Juan. Inside. Clear all around. All clear. Inside. I was just going to say, hey, Juan. <laughs> How's it feel to have someone dive under you? But I did not mean to catch Paul Menard Still there. there. Still there. Still there. Hey, guess who's underneath me? Bobby Labani. Stay high. Clear, clear. Outside. One, two, one, six. You want to go three. up to the top groove there, Bobby? Be three wide. Hold it tight here. Whoa. Go ahead, Paul. Still out there. Biffle. Jeez. Still out there. I hope you're out. For that one. Stay low. One, two, three, one, two. We've had run-ins with Biffle before. I just slowed down to let. What's his name? Menard. Yeah. I was letting Menard just go because I was like, I'm not gonna hold him up. I did put him in the wall. But I had no idea 
Biffle was going to try to kamikaze his way in there. Who's behind me? Wait, that's not Edwards. Wait, is that Paul Menard still behind me? Yeah, it's still Paul Menard. How does he back? Did I pass him? Wow, I am so focused on my mirror, I didn't even notice where Paul Menard was. I must sound so confused or lost at the moment, and quite honestly, this track can do that to you. Drove in too deep. Paul's gonna go underneath. Clear, clear. Side, side. Stay high. Clear, clear. One, three, four, two. Outside, clear. Outside. Clear. Did not mean to get into you that time, Paul. Truth be told, I didn't. I locked up and everything. I was trying to not hit him. I'd like to keep Biffle behind me if I can. If we could just catch some traffic. Oh, I'm too hot. Too hot, too hot, too hot. Inside. Still there. Yeah, I knew I got into that turn way too fast. I am making some... I gotta stop rear view mirror driving here. Straight ahead, just focus. I've locked up, what, three times since this last restart? The next car we have behind us is Tony, for position, that is. Just, I gotta focus on not making any of the mistakes that I've made in the past and stick to the um, game plan that's been working for us, is just don't drive over our heads. When I see that I can't do it, just don't do it. Don't push it. Stay it's low. been working. Yeah, it sucks in the moment, but in the long, in the long Stay run, low. it's been well. It's resulted us being in the point Stay lead. Clear. Daytona it resulted in a 500 win because we just weren't doing anything stupid all day. We were smart about things. We didn't try to like, pit with the pack. We just try to time everything out right. So we just gotta be smart. We got bonus points for leading, so. An eighth will kind of be like getting a seventh without leading, so. Not going to worry about one spot. Or two. Good thing I looked in my mirror. I saw Tony right there. Pretty sure the 14 gave me a shot. Outside. Gonna try to get around Casey Keen down the front stretch here. The more I can keep cars on the outside, the better the odds are of keeping that 14 behind me. I'm surprised Denny Hamlin hasn't been much of a factor. He was the original race winner of this race. Well, I say original, like they ran it more than once. <laughs> but he is, he was the winner of this race. Um, he's not even in the top 10. I'm pretty sure we saw Junior go around. Um, but I guess he, but he got straightened out. He's in 10th, so he's having a good day. Matt Kenseth has taken back the lead. And since we've stopped mirror driving, we've gotten a lot smoother. I'll just take a glance up at it as I enter the corner because then I can at least see if I'm going to get run over in the center and I have to brace myself to try to save the car. Still 
So Carl's gonna probably go to the inside. Yeah, Ugh, Carl. I thought maybe he was gonna have second thoughts, but he didn't. So we'll get under Robbie. Twenty six hits the wall hard. Somehow he doesn't let Carl Edwards get under him. Oh no, to go three wide. It sounded like someone wrecked behind me too. Carl's a lap down, actually. He wasn't even for position. So yeah, we're still hunting for 31. Almirol is brushing the wall, so I'm just gonna say please and thank you. Uh, true X, and I'm gonna guess that's yeah, it's Nima check. Come on, front row Joe.com. Let's just let me buy. All right, so we're chasing down Truex now. We got a wow. We got 1.2 seconds back to Tony, so we've been we've been hustling, just trying to be smooth. There's Travis. All American food, A and W. Fun fact, my my mom loves A and W root beer. I don't drink soda, so but when I did, well, I used to drink a lot of it. That's why I stopped. But when I did drink it, I did. Uh, Bargs and A and W were the best. All right, so we're up to that's Michael McDowell in front of me. Ah. Uh, Damn it. Well, if you guys are going to go high, I'll just go low then. Not that it matters, but why not? <laughs> Caution number three. There they are. So three wide at Martinsville doesn't always work. Kyle Busch on the outside. McMurray middle. Gordon bottom. And they're coming down the front straight away. They're being held up by Nemechek on the outside. But uh, Gordon makes contact with McMurray. And I think McMurray's just going to get pinched. Which is going to turn who? Because they're all pretty even. Oh, Kyle has nowhere else to go. They're just pinching him into the wall. Gordon's going to go on. And McMurray and Kyle slide underneath our camera here. And uh, I like the name on there, Big Mac, like Jamie Mac. Yeah, and they're going to tag into the wall. The first multiple cars spin, I think, we've had. Oh, wow, Robbie's coming in hot. So is Regan. Oh, so is Casey. Jeez. We've had some little bang-ups. Well, one that brought out a caution, but that will be the biggest caution yet. I won't lie, I've honestly contemplated the track position game and going in and pit four tires and just going back and restarting in 12th instead of 7th. But it's so freaking hard to pass. Wow. Why are we stacked up so bad? Great flag. Well, I'm not going to complain. It's going to give me an opening. Whoa, Mike Bliss. Well, it gave me an opening and a chance to get a... Outside. Wow. I'll go down on the grass. Don't worry. You two lap cars can duke it out and just hold me up. That's fine. You want to go to the high side, Bliss? Jeez. I hope Mike Bliss gets into a wreck. 
being such a stupid drive. Wow. Jeff has slowed down a lot. Oh, man. I thought maybe somebody happened up here. We could have gotten a spot or two. We might pit. I don't know. Caution number four. Look at the gaggle of cars just coming down the straightaway. There's three wide back there. We're going to go three wide right there. It's just they're packed up real or bunched up real tight down the front straight away here and then Vickers and Gilliland sandwich uh, Paul Menard and he's gonna get turned around can he straighten it out before a caution comes out no oh he's gonna loop it back around is Mark gonna get him now nah, Mark's low enough the 24 might get him now if he doesn't go lower. Nope. Not going to hit him. Maybe brush him right there. And that's all that was. Looks like it was going to be a lot worse. All right, so we're getting ready for the green flag. I hope my mic wasn't muted all that time before this caution came out. So I went to unmute it, and it was already unmuted, so, yeah. <laughs> uh, we did pit for tires on this caution. And then we destroyed the front end of our car in the back of Paul Menard. Because no one decides to go. Jeez. We wrecked his back bumper. Holy smokes. Probably smashed up the front of our car pretty good too. Reagan, can you can you please get out of here? I was hoping the fresh tires would give us an advantage. Oh boy, I don't want to know if I like three wide here. We're gonna try to hold it. Kinda did. Still out there. Um, Still there. They're three wide in front of me. I can't chance four wide. <laughs> four wide at Martinsville. That, I can tell you. Still there. I can promise you, actually. That would not end well. But we're down to 36 laps to go. I'm going to need Almendinger to get out of the way. Clear. Stay low. Ah, screw it. Wide, we'll move them ourselves. Stay low, it's stay not low. like I'm best friends with AJ Allmendinger. Max, yeah, stay clear. high. Alright, I gotta remember what's got us to this point in the season as the point leader. Patience. Robbie's gonna hit the wall. Nope. I gotta try to be somewhat patient, but right now I have such a tire advantage. I don't want to blow that. Sitting back here with lap cars. I'm 11.2 seconds back. Jeez. All right, we got a good run. What are we now? 11 and a half. Man, we shouldn't have... I thought maybe... I couldn't remember, so I was like, you know what? I'm going to try it. Let's see if fresh tires will make a difference. And... It certainly hasn't at, at this point in time, anyway. Maybe in the next 10 or 15 laps it might show up, but... So far it hasn't. But we're up to ninth, so I'm not going to complain about that. I am frustrated that we smashed the front end in though because we had kept the car clean for like almost 120 laps. Thank you, Regan, for checking your mirror. Dale Jr. is the next car we're chasing. He's 2.1 ahead of me. Well, now he's too flat. 
I feel like we're fast, though. Well, we're down to 10.8 on the leaders, so it means they're in traffic. So we gotta really take advantage of these cars and get through them. Down, down, we're back up to 10.6, so, eh. I think I'm just, because I have on fresher tires, my mindset is, we can win. I gotta, I can't think that way right now. That's gonna get me in trouble. I wanna do something dumb to try to race to the front when I'm not gonna get there anyway. And I'm just gonna hurt my race. And someone else is more than likely. So I'm not gonna try to do that. Definitely don't want to ruin that the 88's race, so I'm gonna be as careful as I can, trying to make the pass on Junebug. That was just felt so smooth the way we just all came off that turn. The four of us, Junior in front of Kane, me behind Kane, and then Boyer behind me. Like we were all side by side a second ago. right there with Junior. Wow, we've cut into the lead a lot. Don't look at the lead. I'm not going to look at the lead anymore. I'm going to do dumb stuff. I'm going to look again one more time just to see. Oh my gosh. They must really be jammed up. I do dumb stuff when I look at the lead. Don't do it. But I keep doing it. All right, they're all double file in front of me, so that's probably why we were gaining. I hear cars banging into each other again. People are either hitting each other or hitting the wall. Ooh, we gotta run. Oh, wow, we might get two for one. If Stewart doesn't dip down, we're going under. Junior, follow me. Props to Reagan and uh, 37's David Gilliland, that's right, yeah. Conway and him switch numbers. Um, yeah. Held it three wide, we made a little contact, no, none of us panicked, we were good. So now we're chasing down the 31, we're up to 7th. Mike, you stay high. You've been a big enough thorn in my side this race from earlier. Marcos, I am so sorry about it earlier. I'm so sorry if Brad can't hold the middle very well and we go three wide and you wreck. I tried to make sure we gave you room off that corner. Uh, it felt good just being able to get past the 38 that easy. He was t difficult to pass at clear, Bristol. All Alright, so next car in front of us is Jim's Jeff Burton. Wait, is that Jimmy? That's Jimmy. He's for position two. Wow, there's a lot of them right up here in front of us to get up even to the top three. Biffle's up here. Kurt Busch. And even, uh, no, Kenseth is up second. Never mind. Our race leader is Kevin Harvick, by the way, folks. And 
there is a gaggle of spots right for the picking in front of me. We're going to take advantage of the lap cars to get Kurt Busch. Uh, Stremmy didn't let me get up to the outside. We're going to send it down here. Watch out, four time. Who's not a four time? I'll call you one time. Just like me. <laughs> Eric, tell your spotter to give you a heads up when you have lead lap cars bombing you. Thank you. So, Jimmy, I think, was our ticket into fifth. I think the four tires are now starting to really help. Not so much to get to the lead, but at least to get to the top five. Because if we hadn't pit, I don't think we would have gotten up here. Because I've been able to really send it in and hold it down on the bottom. You know what I meant to do earlier in the race and I didn't? So I'm sure I've, I've put the graphic up at some point. Um, but the top 10 from any other races that were run before this, I didn't even think to check before I started this race. So um, yeah, we'll have those up there at some point during the race, I'm sure. There's two more spots right in front of me. Before Burton's high, so I'm going to try to sneak under him. And we get under a little uh, Burton. Hamlin, I just don't like you, so if you don't mind, Mr. Hamster, just get out of the way. You're slow today for some reason. Good job, one at a time. Still out there. Clear all around, all clear. Biffle's the next car we're chasing down. And he's right there. Ah, I tried to jump under Michael McDowell and didn't get there in time. Outside. Clear all around, all clear. Outside. You know what I just remembered? And I meant to do it for this race, and I, I, I was a little bit unprepared for this race, obviously. I was also going to line them up by points because that's what happened in real life. You two idiots just cost me possibly fourth. Go, Elliot. Still there. That's how you pass. Now get out of the way. Travis Quapple. Man, we were so close to third. Well, now we have a caution. So I don't even know if we're going to get there in time. Our final caution of the day, caution number five, because obviously this is going to finish the race under yellow, unfortunately, but Mike Bliss, Joey Logano, Kyle Busch. Kyle's on the bottom this time. Last time he was in a three-wide situation like this, the guy on the bottom didn't spin, and the other two did. This time he's on the bottom, and he's the only car who spins. Going into uh, turn one. A lot of calamity over in turn one today. It's going to pin Mike Bliss against the wall, though. He's still just sliding, sliding, sliding. Doesn't look like anybody else. It reminds me of, was it Stremmy and Casey Kane in Atlanta? I can't remember. Or Reed Sorensen. Because he was driving, I think, the discount tires car, maybe. I can't remember. But, yeah, that's all that was. And uh, that's going to finish us under caution, unfortunately. So as we cross the line this time by, you'll notice in the upper left-hand corner, 
Yes. The, the little flag indicator I have up there has gone from yellow to white, so we are not finishing this race under green, which is where that green, uh, better caution, green, white, checker finishes stuff would have been pretty useful, because then we could have had a shot at a better spot, or if we were to do a double file, which we wouldn't do on Martinsville if we even were running it, just because of how much trouble we'd get into with crashes, uh, we would have had a shot at the win, but... So it looks like it's going to be Kevin Harvick taking the second win of the season for him. Uh, he's going to lead all drivers in wins now. Matt Kenseth will get second. Greg Biffle third. I'm going to get fourth. Johnson, Jr., Kurt Busch, Jeff Burton, Tony Stewart, Paul Menard. So um, it's actually registering me as a lap down because they finished the race because it takes so long, which sucks graphically because it's going to show up here on that is I finished a lap down and I didn't. I finished all 150 laps, so in my own personal stat book, I'm going to take that. <laughs> but it was actually a good race. A lot of fun. A lot of green flag racing. So I enjoyed it. Hope you all did too. Have a great weekend. Thank you all for the love and support through likes, comments, subscriptions, etc. And until next time, have a good one.